Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the fillet command. Uh, it's going to be a quick one because this is a pretty easy command. Uh, the fillet makes uh, two corners, or it takes two corners and it rounds it or gives it a radius. Uh, I've got three examples here on the screen, as you can see. Uh, an angle greater than 90 degrees, an angle less than 90 degrees, and a 90 degree angle. Uh, there's two ways to bring up the fillet command easily. You can type in fillet, F-I-L-L-E-T. There you see it at the bottom there. You can hit enter. Or you can use the button, which is under the home tab, and the fillet button right here. So I'm going to click it, and it's going to bring up the uh, prompt at the bottom here, select first object, or you can undo, select a polyline, radius, trim, or multiple. Uh, for this example, I'm going to hit R for radius. I'm going to pick a radius for uh, our angle. Since these things are drawn pretty big, I'm going to start with a radius of 50. Um, you may need to try this unless you're drawing something to uh, exact specs and then you'll have the radius already. Uh, but for this example, I don't have any measurements. Now it's asking for the first object. So we're going to pick one of the line segments going into the angle and then it's going to ask for the second object and we're going to click this one. Now if you look here the, uh, the, the corner has been turned into an arc or radius. We're going to try the same thing on the next one here so I'm going to type in F-I-L-L-E-T radius it's still 50 we're going to leave it at 50 and now we're going to select our two and if you hover over the second one you'll be able to see where the angle is going to go. You can see it there. So I'm going to click it, and there you go. You've radius that one. Now for the last one, we're going to type in fill it once again. Hit R for radius, and we're going to choose 100 as our radius. Again, you just select the first one, select the second one, and there you go. It's as easy as that. That's the fill it command, and again, you can type it in at the command line down here, or you can select the button up here. Cheers, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my site, betteratEverything.info, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks.